Hi and welcome to Ukulele Lessons Easy 1B. Today we're going to do the song Pearly Shells. So at this point I'm going to assume that you've already done the previous tutorial. That means that you all have already done your chord cog exercise uh, for getting you ready to, pre to play this song. Okay, if you haven't done so, you need to back up, do the previous tutorial for the chord cog exercise. If you do not, it's because you already know these chords and they're very familiar to you, so you're able to play this song. If not, you're going you're to run into some difficulties. At this time, please go and get, get your music sheet, pearly shells, pause the tutorial, get your music sheet, get your tuner, tune up your ukulele. I'll pause for a second, then we'll move on. Okay, so at the top it says pearly shells, then it says vamp, G7, C7, F, and then you have some chords over here. Uh, F7, B flat, and C7. Okay, so, uh, so at this time, you want to pause the tutorial, if you haven't done so, and preview the music. You want to go through the entire song and check to see that you know all the chords, you can play all the chords, and it's no problem. That's why we'll always preview the music before we play. It's like a roadmap. Look where you're going, see if you can get there, if there's any obstacles that are going to slow you down, let's fix those obstacles before you even start to play. Now you'll notice right, right over here, there's an F7. That should be re a co review chord for you, like, so in other words, you learned it in uh, the previous course, but if you have not, okay, there's an F7 right up there, okay, that's also located on your chord chart. However, this is F7, which I just showed you. It's a full F7. It's a nice sounding F7 chord, although it's, it might be a little difficult for some people to make. So therefore, you can make your F7 like this. This is the easy way of making F7. You decide how you want to do your F7. Here's the fingering, here's the fingering. You decide how you want to make your F7, okay? So pause the tutorial, Try check it out, see which F7 you want to play. So when you come to that F7, you've already uh, decide if you're going to do the full chord or the easy version of F7. Okay. Okay, if you're ready, we're moving on. Okay, as you see at the top here of the song, it says there, Vamp. Okay, so I'll give you a bigger picture on the board here. Vamp. Then you have G7, C7, F. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to play two strums for G7, two strums for C7, two and four strums for F. By the way, if um, I'm going too fast, um, you can always back up the tutorial, but most important of all, uh, you need to know these chords before we, you start to move on. So if you don't, you need to back up and review the tutorials that cover these chords or you're using your, um, you're using your chord chart that we talked about in a previous uh, tutorial, we, we, we stick it in our binder, you got your binder. Once again, this music sheet, okay, that I provide for you should be inside your binder and you're having, you're kind of making your own little music book already, all right? So you can refer to your chord chart or you can refer to your, your music book to find your chords, either way. Okay, so let me give you a little idea of how the dance goes. Two times for G7, two strums for C7, four strums for F. Here we go. One, two, two, two. One, two, three, four. Two strums for G7, two strums for C7, four strums for F. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was just to give you a basic idea. From this point on in the course, you are going to be doing an up and down strum. Up and down strum. The only reason why you're doing a downward strum from now on is because you chose to do so or a particular song requires that. Other than that, you are only doing up and down strums for the rest of the course. And the technique, you know, we'll discuss it as we come to the song. For this song, we're using the gallop strum. 
okay? It's technically it's a shuffle. It's basically a shuffle strum, an easy Hawaiian shuffle. But I like to call it the gallop. I find that this, my students are able to catch on easier when we associate this strum with a gallop strum. And that whole idea about that is it's like a horse galloping. So if you can kind of feel that picture that it just makes the strum easier to relate to and adapt to. Okay, now this vamp is a standard Hawaiian style of vamp. All it really means is that it's kind of like an intro or it basically kills time uh, for the song. I'll give you an example. If, you, if you're at a Hawaiian party and there's hula dancers, the dual vamp, it basically gives the hula dancers time to get on stage and get in position, get ready to do the hula. Okay, so basically that's a rough idea of a vamp. It just kills time or it's an introduction. Once again, two strums for G7, two strums for C7, four strums for the F. We're gonna do that uh, before we do the song. Let me show you how we're gonna play it. Here we go. This is just the vamp. One, two, three, four, G7, C7, F. And we're gonna do it one more time. G7, C7, F. Okay, so that's how the vamp is gonna sound. Now, uh, when we do the music here, you're going to notice that in the English version you have parentheses. All that is is, is an echo to whatever is being sung. So if you have a, like a friend or partner that plays ukulele with guitar, they can echo along. They don't even have to sing. All they got to do is echo the words that you're singing. Okay. And the bottom version down there is the Hawaiian version. Uh, basically, just remember all your vowels. So the letter U. It'll be sound like ooh. The letter A would be ah. The letter E would be a. So just all your vowels in your, your alphabet system. Okay, so let's get started. Let's check our tuning. G, C, E, A. Make sure your is, is in tune before you start. If not, tune it up with your tuner and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to give a four count and we're going to start it. Once again, it's assumed that you know all these chords at this point or at least basically are reasonably familiar with the chords before you start the song. Okay, four count starting with the vamp, two times with the vamp and we do the song. Here we go. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, G7, C7, F. Again, G7, C7, F. Here we go. Pearly shells, pearly shells from the ocean, from the ocean, shining in the sun, shining in the sun, covering the shore, covering the shore. When I see them, when I see them, about ending with a down strum, either a stationary down strum or a free down strum. Just for a nice final sound for the ending of the song. Okay, now we're going to do the um, Hawaiian version. I'm just going to sing uh, the Hawaiian side of it. Well, it's all Hawaiian, but I'm not going to do the echo, okay? But feel free to do it if you want. Here we go. So just so we can get a pronunciation of the Hawaiian version of Pearly Shells. No vamp. We're just gonna go right into the song. I'll give a four count. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Poo, 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 poo. Okay, 
so now you heard the both version, both English and Hawaiian. I strongly suggest that you back up the tutorial, uh, try all these again, uh, all the techniques, all the uh, lessons about the chords, the strumming, the vamp, etc. And even try to sing along. It's a really fun song to, to play along. And then uh, when you're ready, we'll uh, see you on for the next lesson.